good morning all of you today we will discuss about our fourth chapter structure of an atom structure of an atom we already learned our previous chapter what is atom molecule element and all those things we studied then all the elements are made up of small fundamental unit that is called atom we know that all elements are made up of small fundamental unit called atoms we know that all the things that we see around us matter that we learn first chapter matter is anything that has mass and occupies space then we can move to atom what do you mean by atom then all the matter is composed of atom atoms are building block of matter atoms are the building block of matter <clears throat> the purest form of matter which consists of a single type of atom is called an element the purest form of matter which consists of a single type of atom is called an element then according to atoms the word atom comes from greek word that word is atmos a greek philosopher or democritus was the first to coin the word atmos matter is made up of tiny indivisible particles called atmos the word atom come from greek word that word is atmos then dalton's atomic theory what says dalton's atomic theory according to dalton's atomic theory all the elements are made up of atoms an atom of an element is the smallest particle that show the properties of that element that is the dalton's atomic theory also dalton explained that atoms cannot be broken by chemical means and hence are indivisible this is called the dalton's atomic theory then rutherford showed that atom contains particles that are known as fundamental particles or subatomic particles rutherford further show that atom contains particles that are known as fundamental particles or subatomic particles here we can see the subatomic particle atom is comprised of three subatomic particles which are the three subatomic particles the particles are here this is proton here we can see protons neutrons and electrons these three are the subatomic particles here three subatomic particles are there proton neutron this proton and neutrons we can see in the nucleus and the electrons third one that is electron that is uh, rotating in an electron shell that orbit we can call it as orbit or shell the atom consists of three subatomic particles which are the three subatomic particles electrons protons and neutrons these are the three subatomic particles then we can explain what are the subatomic particles here atom consists of a positively charged center or nucleus that is surrounded by negatively charged particle called electrons here the center of the atom that is called a nucleus inside the nucleus we can see protons and neutrons here proton that p means positive charge proton p is positive charge and neutron that is there is no charge one positive charge and another one that is there is no charge so the charge of nucleus that is positive and the third subatomic particle that is electron that is negative charge 
the negative charge electron is orbit around the nucleus so three subatomic particles are there electrons are negative charge protons are positive charge and neutron there is no charge then nucleus is present at the center of the atom which consists of proton and neutron the electron move around the nucleus in a defined path that is called orbit then what do you mean by protons now we learn positively charged particles located in the nucleus then proton have mass then what do you mean by electrons electrons are negatively charged particles that is located in the electron shell or orbit then electrons have so little mass that they are not considered when determining the mass of an atom neutron neutrally charged there means no charge particles located in the nucleus the mass of neutron is equal to that of a proton these are the three subatomic particle that mass mass of a subatomic particle is denoted by atomic mass unit atomic mass unit short form is amu or we can explained as u that is the mass mass of subatomic particles that is denoted by atomic mass unit amu from in this chapter we learn about learn about the subatomic particles atoms dalton's atomic theory then three subatomic particles i think you all understood the structure of an atom Thank you.